Cancer, it's me Stormy and here's your horoscope for May 2018 where Cancer, you get a little bit glitzified this month. We've got Venus moving into Cancer towards the end of the month. So that's going to bring you a little bit of a boost in this self-confidence, all of this good stuff. You might even find yourself being a little bit more magnetic, which is phenomenal because Uranus is also moving into Taurus this month, lighting up, putting glitz, glamour, busyness, some unusual, some unexpected, some different for sure on your 11th house. You'll also be experiencing a new moon in the 11th house. We've got Mercury and Taurus in the 11th house at the beginning of the month. So your social life, I think, has the opportunity to get beautifully different this month. Now, I will tell you too, towards the end of the month, when we get close to this full moon, it's going to bring in some new opportunities to change your routine if you would like to. If you've been looking for a job, you do something freelance, um, work-related things could get really delicious. And it'll also, I think, show you in terms of not only physical health, but also mental health. If there are some things you need to be shucking and letting go of, especially things from the past, it's going to be a time for you to be able to do that. But let's jump in here and talk about this month so I can get you out and enjoying it, okay? Now, at the beginning of this month, we have got on the third, Mercury coming out of its shadow time. This is important to understand, so please mark this on your calendars because what this means is that Mercury is full force, forward, direct, communications, thinking, decision making, business practices, all of these things should be going a lot more smoothly now and you really have Mercury's full attention and blessing, so that's beautiful. Now on the 12th, Mars is going to move into his shadow time, this pre-retrograde period. And what that means is he's starting to slow down to get ready to turn around in June for this retrograde, okay? So what does that mean for you? Well, it could look like that Mars or your action, your aggression, your assertion, your desires for certain things are starting to slow down. It doesn't mean that Mars is ineffective here. He's still the moving action energy planet. So you'll still have the influence of that energy, but it may be starting to slow just a little bit. So just be mindful of that if you see that, okay? On the 13th, we've got Mercury moving, like I said, over here into Taurus, into your 11th house. On the 15th, the new moon is in Taurus, planting those seeds of intention in this 11th house. As well, we've got Venus and Gemini in your 12th house. So this is great for cleaning out the social closet. And on the 15th, Uranus moves into Taurus. So again, everything in this 11th house is just lit up for you, which makes it a pretty interesting, exciting, different kind of time. If you've been not really having a very blistering social life where you have been stuck with technology, you've needed to learn, you've been wanting to take an online course, do something more social, even get out, go salsa, go do something in your own backyard and neighborhood that's a lot more social, this could be a time where you're starting to see that. And you may be starting to get out there in really strange ways where you're like, oh, I actually was just um, coming to, you know, pick up a new pair of shoes and they're actually having an in-store salsa demonstration. I mean, be amazed at the cool positions you find yourself in. You may also find yourself really attracted to, not just romantically, but friend-wise, um, unusual people, places, and things, right? Uranus loves different stuff. It loves eccentric, exotic kind of things. It loves, you know, maybe cancer, what happens is, is that you come into really wanting to be around people who study or are part of groups that have been traditionally way different than yours. You know, if you've been very religious, maybe you want to hang out with astrologers. Think about those kind of opposites because whatever's going to happen, Uranus is coming to break down the structures and break down what you've got going here so he can leave you with something fresh. One of the things I will tell you is often as you can, especially in this 11th house, say yes to some new things, new adventures. Somebody says, hey, will you come to this networking thing? Say yes. Say yes to getting a whole new long range goal plan and dream. It is okay for things to not be exactly what you plan them to be, okay? Now with that new moon falling here, I again, I think that this brings a lot of life because if you want to have different friends, you want to be aligned with different social groups, you want to be having different social experiences, um, you plant those seeds of intention at this moon to allow them to be worked on and cultivated and brought to sprout and to blossom four weeks from now, okay? And while I think that's delicious, 
because Uranus is right on the heels of this full moon, um, you can just expect things to get different. That's all I just want. You can just expect things to get different, okay? Now, on the 16th of the month, we've got Mars moving over here into Aquarius, into your eighth house. This is a phenomenal place for you to be working on finances. This is a phenomenal place for you to be working on anything connected to joint resources. This, let me do, this is a phenomenal placement for some sex, but don't tell anybody I told you that. Tell them all. Tell them all. <laughs> So this is a great placement for things like that as well. But if you are wanting to study astrology or anything in the metaphysical realm, you're wanting to dig a little bit deeper into things, you're wanting to find out a little bit more about your own fears, your own talents, um, anybody who is doing any kind of therapy, this is an absolutely delicious energy. So use this Mars energy very, very well in this house to help yourself. On the 19th, Venus moves into Cancer. Okay, so this is sensual delicious when venus comes into your sign it is a very nurturing but it's it's also really a really big boost in confidence for you so with all of these changes going on me telling you get out there go be social this could be a wonderful time where you're taking that self-confidence on the road right you're like yeah i gotta get out here and experience these things and people are also receiving you very well could be a time where you want to redecorate maybe you want to redecorate yourself your home, your space, anything like that. Bring some harmony, bring some diplomacy, bring some sensuality to your table. Now I will tell you as well, with Mars in that pre-retrograde time and all of this energy in Taurus Cancer, one of the things I think you have to also be mindful of is that perhaps if you have a Taurus in your life or you had a Taurus in your life, any old connections and things like that, you could find them at this time kind of coming your way in some way, shape or form, or you're re-evaluating whether or not that brings joy into your life. So pay attention to that. Now on the uh, 20th, we have the sun moving into Gemini. So it's back there in the 12th house. We're going to start to clean out that shadow box, those skeletons in the closet, get rid of some stuff that's not working, get rid of some people, places, and things that are not working. Uranus will help you with that. At the end of the month on the 29th, um, we've got the full moon happening in Sagittarius, like I said, in the sixth house as well. We've got Mercury moving into Gemini in the 12th house. So I think if you've been unhappy at work in some way, shape or form, or you've been unhappy in a routine you've been participating in, or your health hasn't been where you want it to be, this is a wonderful full moon to make those adjustments because the full moon says something has to be ended, acknowledged or adjusted, right? Um, it could also be, I mean, the sixth house is the house of, of co-workers. You could have a new co-worker coming, but with a full moon, I would think likely a co-worker could be leaving or something like that. And it is also the house of small animals. So you do want to be mindful if you have pets who've been struggling or suffering or sick in some way, shape or form, they could be ready to make their transition as well. But whatever is happening, everything is moving in the exact and perfect timing. So just remember that, okay? All right, Cancer, I look forward to seeing what this month is like for you. So make sure you keep me posted in the comments down below. Like this video, comment, share, subscribe. I look forward to seeing you in $3 Thursdays. We're going to talk about Chiron in Aries through the houses um, coming up here at $3 Thursdays in May. And you can get signed up now for Astrology 103 Sinistry. All right, guys, I love you and I'll see you next month. Bye.